Yeah, this place is a destination now. It's not so much, oh, we'll just drop in, I think there's a pub there type thing. It's a destination. So before they leave Adelaide or Melbourne or wherever they come from, it's pretty much ticked off on the list to come to the Daily Waters pub. So uh, yeah, that's why these people are sort of rolling in this time of the morning. And like I said, three o'clock in the afternoon, um, it's very hard to get a powered site here. So the food, the food here, that's on the list. They tick that off the world famous beef and barra. So. And you can get a signal out in front of Chili's. Yeah, <laughs> you can get a signal. You can get a signal on those bloody mobile phones. Someone's going to get hit by a road train here one day. Well, they walking around <laughs> with a head down on those mobile phones. Yeah. How does it feel to be earning your living with the grey nomads from the grey Gr nomads? Oh, mate, I love the grey nomads. I've got to get used to them because I'm going to be one. I'm 62 now, so I'm not far off it. No, they're really good, mate. Uh, Chili um, there proclaiming his affinity with the grey nomads, and wisely so, since he's their entertainer by night, singing them plenty of that good old country and western. So leave him out there in the long yard, do not rush him. Leave him out By day, he sells them merchandise from his bar humpy across the road from the pub, and all of it with a distinctly Australian flavour. I could get up there and sing Johnny Cash songs all night or whatever, you know, whatever American, but people come all the way to the Daily Waters pub and they don't expect to see sort of so much rock and roll. They're looking for the real deal, you know? And if I can provide them the real, I've been in the bush all my life, and if I can provide them the real deal, a bit of a giggle and a laugh going along and a bit of a song, that's well and good. But they can relate to the era. And a lot of the, and a lot of it is back, you know, stories back when I was drove and you know. So yeah, yeah so the, the grey nomads. And Do you think that's an ideal that we're losing in this country? Oh, oh, it is, but it's only an ideal for for us old guys. Um, when I was young, um, I lived with my grandfather on a farm, and we had all horse-drawn implements, and then cars and tractors and everything became very very popular you know so that's all gone and then now now the 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 machinery and everything has advanced and technology has advanced so you've got to go along with the world and computers and whatnot so but the young people and one can only wonder what chili's grandfather would make of this lot crammed into the daily waters pub car park like sardines how do you find the cheek to jowl accommodation here oh, this sort of thing fa fantastic it's what you it's like all... it yeah I'm enjoying it. And you can sleep with your neighbour's wife without having met her. That's it, really. mate. You got it. <laughs> how, how do you cope with the, the cosy arrangements here? You quite like it? Really? Oh, it's, it's good. Actually, it's, it's good. We're um, sort of meeting new people next door and we went across and watched your show last night. That was great. It's all very cosy here, isn't it? Oh, it's great. Yes. You like it? You like yes, the Yes, wonderful. Yeah. But not everyone's so enthusiastic. And you have no privacy whatsoever. Yeah. And um, I, I want my own shower and toilet. I am sick of sharing showers yeah. and toilets with people. I'm sick of wearing thongs on my feet. Yeah. <laughs> and pretty much we're ready to go home. Likewise, not everyone takes it too seriously. And as the vans roll out, I go for a wander and I meet Dave. She was a two sock night last night. Two sock night? Yeah. I've got the coat. It's amazing. <laughs> A bit of the old um, super cheap tarp yeah. and a blow up bed. That's it? That's it. That's it. No, it's very, very swish. Is there a kitchen it. in there somewhere? In the boot of the car. Yeah. Oh, a kitchen in the boot of the car. Oh, yeah, we've got a lot here. Kitchen. There we are. Kitchen and workshop. Kitchen workshop? Yeah, bit and a fridge. Yeah. Okay. So would you call yourself a grey nomad? No, I certainly wouldn't, but... Uh, I, I've told my children that um, if I ever uh, think about it, they'll shoot me. <laughs> if you ever think about becoming a great owner? Yeah, I just want to be a bit of a villain on my own, that's all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What don't you like about the grain owners? Oh, just their whole routine. You know, they cart all this extra gear with them and they fart around all day. So do you reckon yeah. they take with them what they're trying to escape from home? Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, they've, yeah they take hard work with them. Hard work you're in. Yeah. You see all the gear they pack up and unpack every day, you know. It's, they don't need it. Oh, well, <laughs> obviously not. <laughs> don't, you know. 